a little job today. We have a new vacuum to put together. I just looked at it and it was over a year ago that we thought our other vacuum was dead, but God resurrected it for another year. It's been over a year now, but it finally died. And we can't go without a vacuum with six cats. I mean, we've already gone over two weeks. Mom had decided that we should get a vacuum, but it took me a week or two to process it and think of whether we should spend that much money or not. Because we've had a, a number of cheaper ones and they, they don't last that long. So we decided, even though we can't really afford it right now, we needed to bite the bullet, get a Dyson, and hopefully the thing will last for, as mom says, 10 years or so. I think the cats are already liking the box. Polar bear's in there and little Skittles right in the way. Oh, there's polar bear. Here's where the handle goes. It goes on like this. Polar bear has figured out what it is. He's already attacking it. You have to hold the cord while it's playing. What is this, polar bear? Hey, polar bear, what is this? Whoa, what is that? Um, what is that, polar bear? Is that another one of those vacuum things? Those things that the monsters that try to kill you guys? All right, we have it together, so we're gonna give it a try. Vacuuming is usually my job around here, so I'm gonna give this baby a try and see if it works better than the other one did. Hopefully it does, because on the other one, you had to vacuum over things about 10 times, especially if you had a piece of carpet or something that the cat scratched off their tree. And there was a time early on in my working days where I did carpet installation. So a clean carpet to me is pretty important. So let's see how this works. I think this works good. It works <laughs> it really smells. good. We're going to clean up the cats now. The cats are going to be bummed because it's going to be free from their fur and their smells and their cat litter and good, good stuff. You want to take it for a spin, Matt? Sure. <laughs> Wait a minute before I give you the keys. Here, just hold this loosely there just okay. so it's out of your way okay. like in a way so you don't run over it. Red Gotta butter. teach Matt how to do this. Red button or silver button? One of the big problems we had with our old vacuum I think is that the brush really didn't work that good. So I think this thing is sucking up all the dirt and everything out of the carpet that the other one didn't get because we're not even done with the living room area yet, which isn't that big. And this canister is just about full, just about filled it up. Yeah, we haven't vacuumed in about two weeks since the other one broke, one or two weeks, but this baby is going to suck up a lot more stuff. Look at this. Haven't even finished the living room yet. Look at how full this thing is. It's full when it gets up to the red line there. And look at all that. Just all the powdery stuff, dirt, that was probably way down in the carpet that the other vacuum couldn't get. Yeah, over here it's not as much. This thing definitely is going to make a big difference. Oh, yeah. One of the big issues we had is that the suction alone would not pick up the cat hair off the furniture and stuff. So we've got this phenomenal turbine incredible turbine, turbine turbine nanny thing here <laughs> let's see how this works see if this actually takes the fur off of our furniture okay Now this will be a real test here. The cat's rubbing up against this here. It's gotten that fur on there so thick that you could not suck that off. Okay, let's see.
today we were supposed to be going out on another adventure up to the area that was our detour when we came back from the Barker Pass Road uh, trailhead up on the Pacific Crest Trail uh, just a week ago, but things weren't going so smooth yesterday. We were running late and then Jennifer wasn't feeling good, so we ended up deciding not to go today. So I guess our adventure today is a vacuuming adventure and it's it's been kind of cool seeing how clean it's getting our carpets it's just amazing how much stuff it's picking up yeah i guess you can see why it's an expensive vacuum it does a way better job than any vacuum we've ever had i'm happy he's happy because when dad's happy we're happy we're starting to get peace in our household again. Scat is helping it so that the cats are not destroying the um, door jam. The door jam. So now we could probably fix that, and then and get sleep. Uh, yes, and then um, the cat box. Little Skittles has not gone outside of the box since we added an extra box. And now we're getting cat hair galore out of our carpet and furniture. So I think peace is going to be restored to our home. Yay! I went from waking up early in the morning to nice, peaceful prayer time with God. And then the cats scratching at the door, waking me up early, ripping the carpet apart, peeing on the floor, cat litter everywhere, cleaning cat boxes. So. I went from that peaceful time with God first thing in the morning to anger and stress and frustration and then need to go into my prayer time just to try to calm down. So I think things are going to be a little better in the mornings now. Do you like the new vacuum polar bear? No. He says he hates it. He, wants, he oh. thinks we should take it back. Why is he saying that? <laughs> Oh yeah, you're one of the ones that don't like the vacuum, <laughs> huh? But it's not a screaming lady anymore. Our old vacuum sounded like there was a screaming lady in it. <laughs> he says, I feel good now. Mom's petting me. Look at how much more this thing got than our other vacuum. Look at that. Full. And all we did was our living room, dining room, and the kitchen area. And did the furniture and the cat tree. We haven't even done Matt's room and our, our, our room yet, and this thing's full. How full did the other canister get before? Oh yeah, with the whole vacuuming, it probably had a little fluff down in here with the other vacuum. On a full vacuuming. This has like, I don't even know, <laughs> 10 times as much stuff in it as a full vacuum and so far all we've done is our living room, dining room, and kitchen. I think this is going to make a big difference in our carpets and cleaning up after the cats. I felt this whole thing twice. Well this was out of our room and our bathroom and part of the hallway. I think this is probably residue from when this carpet was first installed in this apartment I don't know how many years ago if nobody along the line had a powerful vacuum like this. I think it's just been accumulating ever since it got installed. So it's amazing what's coming out of it. Tons of dirt and dust and fur. <laughs> what's Blackie doing to your hair there, dude? <laughs> I have no idea, but it hurts. That's all I know. She got distracted. She got caught. I wasn't doing anything. Blackie? <laughs> I think she's about to start. I think she's eating your hair. Mm. I think she's chewing it. <laughs> that was too close to my eye. She loves his new hair gel. What are you doing, Blackie? <laughs> huh? Does that smell good or something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's something. Sneak up on her. I don't think it worked. 
So was that an exciting adventure day today or what guys? A, an exciting vacuum adventure. Well, it's pretty exciting for us because if we can keep up on keeping our house clean from the cats, man, that is huge. That is a huge thing. We're thankful that it worked as good as it did. Man, it just picked up a ton of stuff. That is amazing. I think it's probably picked up stuff that's gone down in this carpet since it was put in, I don't know, 10 years ago or something probably when they originally put it in. We're getting all the dirt out of it now. So hopefully this vacuum is going to keep working, keep this place clean, keep up with the cats and cut down on some of the stress level and hopefully cut out some of the allergens. Man, I've been sneezing a lot. Matt's been sneezing and uh, I don't know, maybe it was from all the stuff in the carpet. So hopefully it takes care of that too, helps us out with that. But anyway, so that's going to be it for today. We just kind of did a vacuum thing today. Cats did some crazy things. So thanks for hanging out with us guys. Hopefully if you're in the market for a vacuum, we can help you out and let you know whether this was worth it and works good or not. So we'll see you guys on the next video. God bless you guys and see you next time. Hello. Not hello, it's good night. Oh, good night. Hello. <laughs> good night. Hello, good night, good night. I don't know. Okay. Bye. Lay down. Night night time. Okay. Good night, buddy. It's bright, but good night. See you in the morning. Good Love morning. you. Turning the light out. Here it goes. Bink! Job today. We have a new vacuum to put together. I just looked at it, and it was over a year ago that we thought our other vacuum was dead, but God resurrected it for another year. It's been over a year now, but it finally died. And we can't go without a vacuum of six cats. I mean, we've already gone over two weeks. Mom had decided that we should get a vacuum, but it took me a week or two to process it and think of whether we should spend that much money or not. Because we've had a, a number of cheaper ones and they, they don't last that long. So we decided even though we can't really afford it right now, we needed to bite the bullet, get a Dyson, and hopefully the thing will last for, as mom says, 10 years or so. I think the cats are already liking the box. Polar bear's in there, and little Skittles right in the way. Oh, there's polar bear. Here's where the handle goes. It goes on like this. 